Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got another great video for you today. We're going to be talking about the top baits for 2018 that you should have in your tackle box. Whether you live in the south, up north, out west, or on the east coast, there's going to be some baits here that cover anything you want to fish. And a lot of these you probably haven't heard about before. So let's get into the video. And as always, if you like the video, drop me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Now, first up is the Scottsboro Tackle STC Sniper Shad. This is a soft jerkbait swim bait hybrid. It is actually designed for putting on a big scrounger head and fishing out deep on the ledges of Kentucky Lake, Gunnersville, Rayburn, Toledo Bend, any of those places where they feed on big gizzard shad. And I'd really hate to see what a Mexico bass would do to this thing. But if you'll notice, it has a very shad-like body and it has this real whippy tail right there. And that is designed to go back and forth and make this bait shimmy uh, when you put it on one of those big scrounger heads. Again, this is a big gizzard imitator and you're gonna get a lot of big bites using this lure right here. Had these for quite some time and can't keep them in stock. Got a big selection of them. And you definitely wanna get you a pack or two to try uh, for this summer because they're gonna be really, really hard to get. They are hand poured in Scottsboro, Alabama by Scottsboro Tackle Company. Great people. They work very well with us at TackleFreaks.com to make sure you get some of the best swim baits on the planet. And these actually catch fish. No hype right here. So let's go ahead and get the next one. This is a frog. And for you guys that love to frog fish, you really need to try this one right here. This is the Jackal Gavacho Frog. And one thing I really, really like about the Gavacho, you'll notice it's got three legs to it. This is to help keep the bait more stable in the water. The front of the bait is really flat, so it skips well. But man, this thing walks really well. Maybe one of the best walking frogs I have ever fished. Yes, I do throw frogs. I don't always throw big baits on Kentucky Lake. And these hooks right here, the hook gap is awesome. If you'll notice they're pointed at an angle, your hookup ratio is gonna go out the roof on this Gavacho frog. I've caught several great big fish on this thing already. I love this bluegill color, especially in the late spring uh, when the bluegill are starting to bed, when the bass are up shell, the garden fry. This one right here, gets a lot of bites. Do not be afraid to throw this in a heavy cover and, and vegetation and work it like a popping frog. I personally like making it walk, walk super, super easy. Just get you some 65 pound braid, your favorite frog and rod, and go to work. The next bait I have is actually a swim bait and it's a small swim bait. This is the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. What I really like about this bait is the fact that the hook is hidden by this top dorsal fin, as you see, and that keeps it from hanging out or hanging up in rocks, brush piles, or in the grass. And it's a small bait, so when bass come to eat this thing, they usually get the whole thing. And I've seen some giants caught on this already. Uh, designed to imitate a goby uh, up north, but it works really, really good at imitating a bluegill here in the Midwest or in the South. Great bait that's gonna be awesome anywhere in the country that bass are feeding on really small forage. If you're a swim bait guy, you really gotta love this. You can throw it on like 12, 14 pound test. You don't have to have a $400 setup to use this thing right here. And the way it's weighted up nose, the awesome bedfish bait as well. That is the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. The next bait up, another bait from Mega Bass. This is the Vision 110 Silent. I'm sure you've heard Tactical Bassin talk about this. The exact bait is the Vision 110. It does not have an internal rattle. Great for lakes that receive lots of fishing pressure. Up north, uh, Table Rock, uh, Lake of the Ozarks, places like that that are clear water impoundments. Uh, they get a lot of pressure in the spring from jerkbait fishermen. You can go behind some guys with this bait right here and catch them. Super sharp premium hooks from Mega Bass, as always available in several great fish catching colors that they've always produced. It just, it don't make no noise. The only thing you hear is the split rings clacking. I've already caught some fish on this bait. It's a great one. Uh, i got several good colors in stock on TackleFreaks.com. Next bait is the Man Bear Pig. And I apologize, the wind just picked up out of control because it does that when I decide 
to film a video. Uh, so the man bear pig is a hybrid between a creature bait uh, and your normal beaver style bait. It's different than the kinky beaver. It's not near as wide, very slender body, uh, very long tails, kind of similar to a brush hog. Reminds me of the old uh, Berkeley power bait creature hog, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, awesome colors. It's got this nub of plastic up on the tip for when you use like a grip pin hook or an owner jungle hook. Uh, the little hook keeper, plastic keeper, just will not bust open the top of the head. Really great idea. One reason I really like Reaction Innovations, they definitely innovate and make some awesome, awesome stuff. Next bait uh, is going to be the Evergreen Jack Hammer. Very controversial is this bait right here because of the $15.99 to even $20 uh, retail price. I've seen these things go for, but when you want to talk about winning a lot of money, this bait right here has won a truck pile of money. This is the Bret Hot uh, bladed jig. Uh, originally was only available in Japan. Now it's made its way to the United States. Actually got here last year, but is man, it's took off this year. Guys are buying these things and realizing, yes, they're expensive, but man, they catch fish. Uh, instead of a tin blade, it's stainless steel. Instead of the, the snap that Z-Man puts on there, you've got your normal uh, snap that most companies use. The hook is the real deal. This thing is not gonna bend. It is super sharp. They even come with a little cover to cover the point. It's got two little pieces of wire right here to hold your favorite trailer on there. I recommend the Yamamoto Zacco or the Lake Fort Magic Shad. Great, great trailers. Uh, 3D eyes on the head, a very realistic paint job as well. Uh, one thing awesome about this jackhammer is this sucker just will not stop vibrating. When you cast it out there and you rip it up or down or twitch it, that blade is always, always vibrating. A big time difference between the normal chatterbait and the jackhammer. Now that's not to say the normal chatterbait, the Project Z or any of your other favorite bladed jig doesn't work. Uh, this one is just another alternative for the guys that wanna try one of these high end baits and it definitely works. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. Just won $100,000 in the KBF Kayak National Championship here on Kentucky Lake. Several really good realistic colors. Got a pretty good stock of these right now, but they definitely go really fast. Now, the last bait I want to show you is actually made by a good friend of mine. One of the best fishermen that's ever graced uh, Kentucky Lake. His name is Brent Anderson, and this is called Elvis. And Elvis is a half A rig have spinnerbait designed for probing deep water ledges or taking the place of an Alabama rig. Um, it's a hybrid spinnerbait. It's got five blades and five wires. You've got a blade up top and you've got four and an X-wing right here. Put your favorite swim bait on the back or even I use like a seven inch pearl white worm and slow roll this thing. Great in the same places that you're gonna throw an Alabama rig. Uh, great in the same places in the summer, you're gonna slow roll a big spinner bait. These all weigh one ounce and a quarter. That's to keep it from lifting and keep it down there on the bottom. This is unique and you're not gonna see these anywhere else but tacklefreaks.com. And if I can find it, Brent's got some underwater water footage of some great bigs eating this thing. Well guys, that's all I've gotten it right now. Those are some baits that you need to have in your tackle box for 2018. I may have some more baits coming after iCast that you might want to get. That's coming up here pretty soon. Thanks so much for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't, make sure you hit that button. The Bait Man is now out.